Hello everyone. Yesterday my iPhone 13 suddenly turned into a black screen state. I try many ways but still can't get it out. But luckily I find a few ways that can surely fix this issue. Now let me show you how to do it. Before we start, you need to do some pre-check first. You need to be sure the black screen wasn't caused by your iPhone hardware issue. You need to be sure there is still have power on your iPhone, or you also can't turn it on. So charge your iPhone. Charge it for about 20 minutes. Then we can proceed. Method 1. Force Restart. Press the volume up and the volume down button. Then press and hold the power button. Keep pressing till the Apple logo appears. If everything goes right, your iPhone should be normal again. If it didn't work, it might be your iPhone system went wrong. Follow the next method. Method 2. Repair with Reiboot, no data loss. This is an iOS system repair tool. It can fix more than 150 plus iOS issues. Go check the download link in the description and download it. Once finished download, connect your iPhone to PC or Mac. Then open Reiboot. If Reiboot is not detected your iPhone, then you need to put it in recovery mode first, but it is unlikely. Click the green start button. Choose standard repair. Here will require to download the MASH firmware to repair your iPhone. Just click it. It won't be long. Depending on your network condition, be patient. Once finished download, click start standard repair. The repair process will take some time in order to repair your iPhone properly. Please be patient and do not disconnect your iPhone during the process. Then it is done. You can see my iPhone 13 is back to the normal state again. I can access it without any problem and none of my data is lost. Go give it a try. If you prefer to use iTunes, you can follow the next method. Method 3. Fix with iTunes. First, connect your iPhone to PC or Mac. Then open iTunes. Now you need to put your iPhone in recovery mode first. Press the volume up and the volume down button. Then press and hold the power button. Keep pressing till the support interface shows up. If your iPhone didn't show the support interface, just go check iTunes. Then you will see iTunes pop up a window. Choose update here. Wait for iTunes download complete and it will start to update your iPhone. The process might take a long time. Then you can see my iPhone 13 is back to the normal state again, but I do met a fail situation before. So I still recommend you use method 2. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you succeed in one of the methods. I will be grateful if you subscribe. Stay tuned for our next videos.